That's the truth. The verse is saying, that when you give charity, you save from death. Which kind of death? Who knows? We don't know. Hashem is protecting the life from death. And when you gave charity, you saved life. And we just need to understand the spiritual potential of us by keeping Torah mitzvot with the right intention. Because when you gave that charity, but your desire was only to receive honor, only to be respected by giving that charity, you took out the soul from that mitzvah, you killed that mitzvah, and that mitzvah doesn't have no more life in it, so it cannot work anymore. And you just wasted your money. And you just threw it away, and you have not kept that mitzvah. And we need to understand that if we will follow the real reason that Hashem Barach commanded us to keep Torah and Mitzvot, and that reason was, it's written in the Zohar Kadosh that the purpose and the reason of the creation of the world is that the world will know and recognize the mercy, the kindness of the Creator. So for that we need to keep Torah and Mitzvot. If we would keep Torah mitzvot with that intention to show the greatness of the Creator, the loving kindness of the Creator, we would have that ability to change the world, to make a real change in the world. But when we are keeping Torah mitzvot from different reasons, because we want to live forever, because we want to succeed, because we want to be left alone, because we don't want people to talk about us behind our backs, that is not what that brings life to the world. If you really want to make a change, you must start with changing yourself. Means to connect yourself to the Creator. It's just a temporary world that in this world, in this period of time, we have a mission. What's the mission? The mission is only not to forget the Creator, to remember that it's all He, never to fall in the trap of all of those coverings, of all of those husks. husks.